These Nixle haven't tested the 2018 Pathfinder but the 2017 model received a 5-star overall score from the Nixle, out of a possible 5 stars. In these testing, the 2017 model received the Top Safety Pick Award after it earned a good score on all crash tests. Good is the highest possible score. It missed the highest rating, Top Safety Pick Plus due to the headlight rating of marginal, instead of acceptable or good. On the front crash prevention test, a 2017 Pathfinder received a superior rating after it avoided a 12 mph collision and reduced the impact of 25 mph crash by 14 mph automatic emergency braking and forward collision warning are now standard on all 2018 Pathfinders while other active safety tech like blind spot spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, moving object detection and adaptive cruise control are available only on higher trim levels. What we think Although the additional power didn't make the Pathfinder quicker, we noted in the 2017 first test that the crossover didn't feel underpowered. The crossover is easier to drive in urban areas because its car-based underpinnings make it easier to maneuver. Inside, the Pathfinder has plenty of space in all three rows and can easily accommodate adult passengers. However, the material quality in the lower S and S V trims are subpar due to excessive amounts of hard plastics and a hard dash. The Pathfinder 7.0